Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Coach Hicks. So today we're looking at defending and adjusting to five receiver formations and how do you defend those and how do you adjust to them. And so we're going to start by looking specifically at the 32 and the 23 formation. So the way I see it, there are four possible ways to adjust to those formations. You can bump, you can track, you can rotate, or you can do nothing. There's already a video for how to adjust by tracking. So you can go ahead and check that one after you've watched this video. And now today we're going to talk about how do you adjust if you bump. So if we go over and we look at the screen here, <clears throat> what we're going to see is this is typically how a defense is going to set up um, before having adjusted to the fifth receiver. And so you got your three linebackers inside your box and you have your DB spread out. So now when you bump, what it means is that you are going to just shift your linebackers depending on where the fifth receiver is is located so in this case because the low key the receiver is located to the, to the field side or also what we sometimes would consider the strong side depending on how we use our terminology what we're going to do is i'm going to bump my linebackers so my sam linebacker is going to bump out of the box and my mike and will are going to have inbox responsibilities my sam is going to come out and again how far out i take him is going to depend on defensive philosophy um, I can either put him 50-50, so he's going to split the distance. I can put him directly over the third receiver. Uh, there are defensive coaches, as I mentioned in other videos. There's defensive coaches that will specifically say, well, if it's zone, you're going to play 50-50. And if it's man, you're going to play over the third receiver. This is something that both sides of the ball need to consider. Um, as a defensive coach, sometimes you're giving away what coverage you're running. And as an offensive coach, sometimes they're giving away what coverage they're running. Um, sometimes it Sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't matter. Simply something to consider. And so this is the way you would adjust to it to the field side of the, to the field side if your fifth receiver is playing to the field. Whereas if your fifth receiver played to the boundary, if you were bumping, what you would do is you would simply move your will out, okay, and your linebackers would shift this way. So now, now your will is out and playing in coverage, whereas your sign linebacker is playing inside the box and his gap has simply now moved inside um, as to where it was. So something to consider, however, when you are playing the bump is that if you are playing um, a, a method of adjusting using the bump, you have to ensure that both of these linebackers are comfortable in coverage. Because if one is better than the other, you might want to look at another option, such as the tracking video that I have, where in that case, you're going to take your best coverage guy and you're going to put him out there. Now, it can also depend on your coverage, because if your coverage is a very simple coverage, these guys are always doing the same responsibility regardless of where they are, then it doesn't make that much of a difference, which could enable you to bump your linebackers. At the same time, you also have to look at how good are these specifically these two guys how good are they inside the box if one of them is your stud run stopper and the other guy's so so you might want to keep your run stopper inside inside the box and put your so so guy outside in coverage if necessary uh, that's something that offenses can also look at so if offensively as you're scouting the team you notice hey their will linebacker is a really good run stopper and there's Sam, you know, he misses a lot of tackles. He's a little soft. Well, that's something that you might want to be able to exploit if you see that the team adjusts by bumping. So when you see that the team adjusts by bumping, in that case, you can say, hey, I want to run the ball, but I don't want to run the ball into their will. So I'm going to take him out of the equation. I'm going to take him out of the box and I'm going to run the ball at their weakest linebacker. So stuff to consider when you're looking at um, bumping. But it is something that can be very fast, very easy to do, and something that's very easy to apply in terms of a method of adjusting to um, 32 and 23 when you get five receiver sets. Hope you like that. Go Chicks. See you next time.